All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Uh, sorry, I'm four minute, six minutes late. Now, to be late is not something normal to me, like if you are a Middle Eastern. So, I mean, this is amazing to be a Middle Eastern and not to be late. That's uh, astonishing. Six minutes only, usually we are late only six hours or six years or even six centuries. The same as what happened to Muhammad, you know, he was six centuries late to tell us that Jesus was not in the cross. Only six centuries. Uh, now, six centuries is nothing in the history of Arabia, you know. We are behind in everything. Now, we know we always, there's a question we ask people about uh, what make uh, Quran and Islam is uh, from God. And the answer always is a silly, funny answer, like Quran have miracles. And when we uh, debate with Muslims, we cannot find those miracles, not even in one place. We cannot find any of the scientific claim they speak of, which is nothing but a fabrication, trying to false translation of the Quran to make it fit with science. But however, that will not work with somebody who's an Arab like me. Uh, Last time, I just remember now actually, uh, one of you, he sent me a message, says, can you, uh, CP, can you talk about Al-Maqqa, uh, which is the temple in, uh, temple in Yemen? Uh, you know, everything is in Islam is coming from somewhere. Everything is coming from somewhere. And one of the things proving that Islam is not what Muslims claim. You see, when people, they say, uh, I remember there's a guy, his name is uh, uh, James White. Uh, I saw him once in Mickey Mouse. And this guy, he is super smart. He said, there's no way Islam is from the... Uh, the uh, a person asked him, do you think the Muslims worship the moon god? The smart James White, he said, uh, no, for sure, no, because the Quran, there's a verse that says, don't worship the moon. It's very stupid to be a person who claimed to have a beach day I don't know where you got yours, but you do not know what the difference between worshiping the moon and worshiping the moon god. Uh, you know, the, 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 the idea of the transformation of God is not about the moon itself. It's about what this God is about. So this God, he transformed himself to images, and he is the moon god. Otherwise, you know, uh, we have a wrong understanding of what this... Uh, moon god mean however a very easy proof that islam is about the moon god not only islam goes by the moon not only the muslim they put a signal of the moon in the top of their mosque and nobody can explain to us why and not only the fasting the eating the celebrating everything is done by the moon no not only that you will find that in yemen and we explained to you that before there's a, a a temple which is originally his its name is al makkah al makkah table or t t temple sorry uh, is the real name behind makkah you see in arabic in arabic because arabic is not really not not really a, a, like a, a language by itself it is a collection of languages. The name, the name is used today for this temple is the following. The Mecca simply is replacing the letter key, replacing the letter Qa, which means al maqqa Al, we told you before, Al in Arabic today means the. Al is equal to the in Arabic today. However, this is not about Arabic because this is exists before the Arab even was entering that country. Al. Here is a word meaning God, 
And maka mean the the name of the temple. You know, I'm not sure really exactly what that means, but this is the Mecca. So the god of the Mecca, the god of the Mecca, the god of the Mecca, Mecca, whatever you want to say it, it's the same. It is Mecca. So the temple is the temple of the god of the Mecca, which is the moon god. Mecca in Arabic today have different meaning. The word Arabic, the word Mecca today have a different meaning. And that doesn't make sense because this is the city of God where God, he built the house. So the Arabic doesn't match because simply this is not coming from the Arabic language. If you remember, Muhammad, he said in the Hadith that there is two things if you, if you touch them, if you touch them, Allah forgive your sin. Not actually not, uh, you know, they, they forgive your sin if you touch them, not Allah. They forgive your sin. Let us see if we can find the hadith. Mm, let's see. Here we go. Abu Abdul Rahman. Somebody's asking Abu Abdul Rahman, asking him, why do I only see you touching the, these two corners? Touching what? The two corners. What corners? He said, I heard the messenger of Allah says, touching them erases sin. And I had heard him here the translation is wrong saying whoever circumambulate seven time which mean around them it's like freeing a slave okay now here somebody might say you see Islam is uh, is encouraging to free slave now, as you see no it's the opposite Islam give you a choice Muhammad in order to make his followers follow him because they are lousy people who don't want really to practice anything so in order to, to, to force them, he said, if you disobey me, I will force you to free one of your slaves. And those people, they hate to do that. This is a big penalty. Their life is based on slaves. They don't do anything for a living. The slaves work. So in order now, Muhammad, he noticed that this is being tough. So he found a, a fiction reason not to slave the, 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 the free the slave if you commit sin or uh, not to obey something Muhammad he said. So what do you do? You go walk around the Kaaba seven times. There we go. So keep your slave. But now the important here, why if we touch those two stones or two corners, we are, our sin will be forgiven. This is simply coming from the moon religion, moon god religion. Where if you touch his stones and those stones coming from the moon God from the moon from the space Your sin is forgiven if you if we go right now <clears throat> Let us do this hold on Let me search in Google peace upon him All right. This is a drawing made by Muslims. Let me show it on the screen. The website is called uh, what? I'm not sure what the name. Life Saudi Life in Saudi Arabia. All right. The Kaaba, the Qibla of the Muslims. This is a description uh, to teach you about uh, this uh, this uh, uh, Qibla. You will see the Qibla have directions, and the Qibla have a, a very important uh, section. Let me show you pictures. 
better than this. Pictures will do better. Hold on. All right. This is better. If you see with me here, this is this is a corner of the Kaaba. This is not the black stone corner. This is different corner. What is this corner is? Why the Muslim here in the in the, in the picture he is touching her, touching those stones, uh, in in uh, in you know like uh, uh, in a ritual way, uh, as if he is touching his God. I and mean, what the purpose of this? This is what Muhammad he said in the Hadith. If you touch them both, which, which means the black stone and the Yemeni corner, remember he said, if you touch those two corners, two corners, you see it. So we have two corners are special in the Kaaba. The Kaaba have four corners, as you know. So there is two corners of them. If you touch them, not the rest, your sin is erased. Now, why in the world Muslims they claim that they worship God and they are a religion of monotheism and they don't believe in uh, worshiping many gods or you know they don't worship uh, idols, stones, rocks? Why, if we touch a rock, that rock is going to forgive our sin? How our sin will be forgiven by touching the rocks? And the funny, the Muslims they say that you Christians are pagans. Why? Because some people, they have a statues or some people, they pray in front of an icon. This is not really uh, for, you know, if you read the Bible, you will see clearly in the book of Genesis, it says, don't make any image of what is above in the sky or what down in earth to worship. If you do it for the purpose of worshiping them as God, you are staying away. You are doing something wrong. You are committing sin. Islam teach the opposite. Islamic claim that they are against worshipping statues and idols But as you see they believe that stones forgive sin <clears throat> In different hadith Muhammad he said that the, the black stone is the right hand of Allah If you remember once a Muslim he told he called me and he said this is a weak hadith I mean that is a weak hadith Doesn't make it not good because a weak hadith is a strong hadith For a very simple reason the second you give it a rank it is Accepted weak is nothing is it doesn't mean it's rejected weak. It's mean It's fine, but it's not the high rank and what is rank is about. I mean who is the one who put those ranks? Many centuries after Islam you Muslims start trying to filter, but this is already filtered the one who wrote those books Already did the filtering So how come it was not filtered in their time, but now it's going to be filtered in your time why it was good in their time otherwise they would not write it down so those hadith and this hadith is a sahih hadith this is not a weak hadith why those people did not make this hadith weak any muslim can tell me this hadith is weak or strong what do you say muslims I will not be surprised if tomorrow uh, they, they start saying this is a, the weak hadith because this is very embarrassing. Right? But it's not. Now, we go back to the pictures. As you see here, this is a corner which is a collection of stones. You see, the Kaaba is not really made from one kind of stones, it's a collection of stones. And the Kaaba today had nothing to do with the Kaaba in the time of Muhammad. Today, those rocks is built because the Kaaba been destroyed many, many, many times. You see, the Muslim they say, if you go to the chapter of the elephant, mashallah, the Quran is like a zoo. We have spider chapter, elephant chapter, the ant chapter. I mean, it's literally, you are in the zoo. If you go to the Quran, you will find there's a chapter. It's called the chapter of the elephant. Okay, what this chapter is about. The Quran speak about something Allah, he did, something unique. There's an army of elephants, they came to destroy the Kaaba. Chapter 105, verse 1. 
two, three, four, five. I mean, can you imagine that a whole amazing war between Allah now and a Christian army? This is not between Muslims and no, no, no. Allah, Allah Himself. Allah, He sent His birds, and those birds they are like the F-16 at that time, and they carry instead of carrying uh, uh, rockets, they carry rocks made from mud. And those uh, birds, when this army of elephant came by the Ethiopian guy, his name is Abraha, who decided to destroy the Kaaba and build the church, Allah, he sent an army of birds who carry rocks and they throw rocks at the elephant and at the army and they destroy them. Now, this is a story not only it's very stupid it's extremely stupid i mean it's beyond stupidity because how in the world somebody coming from africa is going to cross with his elephants all the way to mecca in case you do not know elephants they need at least 600 liter of water a day not only to drink they need water to cool their body they cannot walk in the desert even if you have a container of water with you to just to to uh, to make them drink still they will die because their skin cannot handle the heat this is why you see those animals in africa or in india they always need water either either to jump in inside the water or to spray on themselves like in case of the elephant they spray uh, but other any animals who they are the same as the elephant who don't have a uh, uh, their skin and don't allow them to sweat because sweat is when you sweat simply you, this is your air condition this is your air condition those animals do not sweat so what their air condition otherwise they will they will overheat it and they will die it's like a machine you know See, exactly this is how God he designed us so you have an air condition those animals don't have air condition so they need to cool themselves we are talking about Mecca can somebody Look at the temperature at Mecca now. What is the temperature at Mecca? Let me look. Hold on. Just to give you an idea. Let me go to Prophet Google. Okay. All right. Now in Mecca, it's very nice. It's very nice because it is a twelve midnight. It is twelve midnight. This is how the temperature work, as you see. Uh, 3 a.m., 6 a.m., etc., blah, blah, blah. I mean, look how hot it is. This is at night. Here we go to p.m., 108. And this is not even yet the season where things go crazy. Things go crazy there in August. August is the burning month. Now, this is not standing under the sun. This is in the shade. If you stand in the sun, you prepare yourself to be cooked literally. All right? Now, this is a shade thing. Uh, in, in, uh, in, uh, let us see if we can change. Yeah. Right now, it is 42. 42. I mean, this is nothing, right? 42, you will be dying. What 42? 42 in the shade. So in the sun, you prepare yourself for 55, 56, 57, 58. Literally, you can go right now and watch videos and see how people, they can cook their egg just by putting the, the, the fryer outside in the sun for not even two minutes, not even one minute. You put it outside, you broke the egg, it's cooked. Or you can even, if you want to, to make it very fast, if the floor is, if you have like a rock, it's clean, you know, 
just to break the egg right away in the spot the egg will be cooked will be boiling so the temperature in this area is extremely hot how in the world an army of elephants can cross by same time the story not only is stupid because of that not because it's scientifically it's impossible but because uh, Allah got busted you can go there is videos and there is a, a, a speech made by Muslims Muslims sheikhs actually I translated once one of them and I pause it on YouTube this is my translation this is why like my the translation was not really I mean I made some mistakes I was using a, a software so anyway uh, the sheikh in the video was saying do you know that Al Kaaba was destroyed? Do you know destroyed by who? It was destroyed by Al Qurmuti. Now, Al Qurmuti is not the only one who destroyed it. Al Qurmuti is one of many. Al Qurmuti, the, what is unique about him, not only he destroyed the Kaaba, while his men destroying the Kaaba, he stood in the middle of the Kaaba, screaming at the sky, says, Allah, where are you? Where is your birds? Where is your birds? The one you sent them before, supposedly. How come I don't see your birds? Here we go. I destroyed the Kaaba. I took it stone by stone. He killed more than 10,000 Muslims by this attack. And by the way, he's a Muslim. But obviously, he don't believe. So he was exposing Allah. Where are you? Where is your flying birds where where is your f-16 he was a challenging allah and the kaaba was destroyed and not only that he stole the black stone and he make it as a pupu stone for more than 20 years 22 years according to muslims 22 years this guy he sit in the top of the holy stone of allah and he pissed in it and he do poop in it and how the muslims they get the black stone is it by allah victory no did allah send an army of birds to take it back no the Muslims, they have to bribe this guy. They contacted the ruler of Egypt. And the ruler of Egypt, he contacted him and says, those people are offering you a lot of money. What do you think? It's a good deal. Give them this stupid stone. So he agreed to give them the stone. But obviously, the stone he gave them is not the same stone they used to have before. And why? The Hadith says that the stone... When it was taken from the Kaaba, it was heavy. And when the stone came back to the Kaaba, to Mecca, let me see if I can find the hadith for you. Uh, Yeah, when, when the stone came back to the Mecca, to Mecca, sent back to Mecca, they say the Muslim, when they carry him, it was very light. And the Muslims, because they are very small, they say, uh, the reason for that, because the, the black stone was so happy to go back home. But when he took it against its will, the black stone was so heavy when the men of Al-Qurmati carry it. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is, must be a true story. Uh, well, I'm trying to find the hadith. Uh, about it. And by the way, after Al Qurmuti, he did what he did. A lot of people left Islam because they noticed that Islam is really. Uh, imagine right now, uh, the Muslims they believe Allah protecting the Kaaba, you know. But the Muslims they don't have, a, uh, they don't, they are disconnected with their history. You know. Um, I'm trying. <clears throat> I 
I'm trying to find an English version of the story. Until now, there is no success. Anyway, we will we will try to find it in English. If somebody can, you know, found it, please let me know. Uh, but obviously, um, I cannot find. But maybe you can search, and uh, for sure, if I like, I wanna give it time, I can find it. Um, anyway, the story of the elephants is a very clear proof that uh, Islam is based on fictions and stupidity. And one of the things here, which is very clear, proving that the one who made this story is an idiot. If Muhammad claimed that he is worshipping the same God of the Christians, yet he called him Allah. All right. Why Allah? Why Allah? Want to send an army to destroy somebody want to build a house to worship Allah? You know what I mean? Why Allah? Because Abraham, he want to do what? Abraham, he want to build a church. And what the people do in the church, according to Muhammad? They worship Allah. At that moment, the only ones supposedly, according to Islam, who worship the true God by name is the Christians and the Jews. So why Allah want to kill them? Remember, at that time, this is before Muhammad. At that time, the Kaaba was full of idols and this is a state a place of, of pagans worshiping. Not only that, people they used to go naked around the Kaaba wearing no clothes. No, no clothes. Which again, very clear proof that Islam is based on a sexual religion. Why they want to go around the Kaaba totally naked in the state of nudity? If you have my book, value number one and two, which is called Sex and Allah, and called that name for a reason, read the book and you will see what the reason. Why they are going around the Kaaba naked? Because simply, this is a sexual religion. And not only that, Muhammad, after he took over the Kaaba and over Mecca, why the, those people, they are practicing such a thing, walking around the Kaaba naked? According to Muslims, the year where Muhammad or Muslims for, forbid, uh, or Muhammad forbid the Kaaba uh, to walk around the Kaaba naked is in the last of his time, you know, almost the guy is going bye-bye. However, what happened, a woman was going around the Kaaba naked, and Muhammad, he saw her naked, and he liked her, and he wanted to sleep with her, and he wanted her even to be his own, this female to be for him alone. No other man touch her. Actually, any woman Muhammad he touch, she is his woman. Nobody can touch. That's it. It doesn't matter who. Even if she is not a wife. So when Muhammad he saw this woman, if you have my book, you will read the reference. When Muhammad he saw this woman walking naked and she was singing a song. There is a song. She is singing a song. So she's walking around the Kaaba, totally naked, wearing nothing. Muhammad, he saw her, and suddenly now Muhammad, he decided that from now on, nobody go around the Kaaba naked. Tens of thousands of people, they did that, and Muhammad now in control of the city of Mecca. And nobody 
have a problem with seeing women and men going around the Kaaba naked but when Muhammad did decide to have a woman in his bed because of a woman he changed the naked rounding around the Kaaba because he don't want anyone to see her naked no more and he want her and actually all the references coming from Islamic books all the reference we have coming from Islamic books you know you know if you read my books you will not find one one thing I said there is coming from uh, atheist book or a, a book written by like you know when you debate the uh, when Shabir Ali he started debating with some Christians who do not know anything about Islam he started quoting for them the writer his name is Shish Kabab Falafel he said who's Shish Kabab Falafel who's this guy now anyone can write a book you see, if if you quote, if you quote saying Christian prince saying that who is a Christian prince, in order to quote somebody, he have to be a person who is high rank in this religion, not in the library of somebody writing something. Someone is accepted by the religion, not even by a, a group of people who give him a degree. He is a source of knowledge where the people of this religion they get their source of knowledge and questions and answers from him so now when you say to me that this is the guy I get from him this guy he said his name is John uh, John Jockey uh, Jackie Shan I mean who is Jackie Shan this is what they do do you see what this guy he said who, who is this guy when we show you here in front of us those are the real early Muslims witnessing for what happened and what Muhammad he said and what he did. Witnessing for the companion of Muhammad. Those are not people who came 700 years after like Ibn Kathir or 800 or a thousand year and start to make a, a book trying to explain to defend Islam. You see, if you remember my debate with the guy, his name Sheikh Ruhi from Egypt, he said, those books are made to defend Islam, to solve a problem, to solve a problem. They have a problem. We need to solve it, how we can solve it. We make books, and what those books for? Those books is made for a reason. We are going to not to explain the Quran. Nobody, you know, if you read the interpretation of the Quran, there's no explanation. It's a defend. It's like a lawyer is preparing his case. To defend something this is what the book of interpretation is about so here we have people going in the state of nudity around the Kaaba and as we showed in the reference if you if you have my book six and Allah you will find the real reason behind Muhammad forbidding people from going around the Kaaba and he forbid it only when he wanted this woman before he had no problem you see if you read all the hadith all the hadith of Islam do you see anywhere Muhammad is standing against this making a speech against it Muhammad he lived in Mecca for the first 40 years of his life from Mecca living in Mecca he never spoke against it now Muhammad he claimed to be a prophet after that and he stayed in Mecca for many years still before supposedly he did uh, leave and still Muhammad never there is not even single story speaking of Muhammad going making a speech saying shame on you to do this in the house of Allah all what Muhammad says worship Allah why why Muhammad is not upset from people going in nudity naked men and women is that a sexy club all of this is coming from the temple of the moon God the black stone, it's a collection, you know, the resurrection is a collection. The black stone, the black stone present many things, and the Yemeni stones present many things. The black stone present the vagina, where this is a stone coming from the God of fertility, send it to us to help us to fertilize. So what the women used to do. They used to place their hands over their vagina when they have their period. And those women who, the one who do that, is the one who cannot or they have a difficulty to get 
retinate. So what they do when they have their period, they touch their vagina, they place their hand in, inside the black stone, and then after that, the men who are circulating around the Kaaba, they come and they touch the black stone with their penises. Excuse my language. We are not using a bad language for any reason. We are just, this is education, pure education. Uh, let me show you. Uh, let me see here. Maybe I can find a little reference here to uh, about this. Because, you know, the Muslim, they will say, oh, this guy is lying. Where you get this from? Where do you get this from? Huh? You are a liar. All right? Okay. I'm, as you go, I mean, you are a liar. This is the only answer they have. Here we go. And as usual, you know, we show you everything from pure Islamic uh, uh, websites. Nothing of our own. All right. This is aliman.com. Very, very Islamic Sunni website. Very, very Islamic Sunni website. Nida ul Iman Muslimin. The site of Nida ul Iman, which means the call of faith, the site of all the Muslims. All right. Here they are giving interpretation, here starting from the chapter of Al Baqarah, verse number 126. And this is speaking about Abraham, how Abraham, what he did, uh, etc. And then suddenly here, we see the following. And I challenge any Muslim to say I'm making things up. It says, Allah, he said to Adam, Allah, he said to Adam, أَهْبَطُّ لَكَ مَا يُطَافُ بِهِ كَمَا يُطَافُ حَوْلَ عَرْشِي I send down to you, so what you can circulate with, the same as you circulate around my throne. Oh, let me take the the, uh, the book off. Sorry for that. So I send to you what you can circulate with, the same as you circulate with around my, 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 my throne, as if it is really important to circulate around something. I mean, you see how stupid this religion is? What circulate? I mean... So we cannot worship Allah unless we circulate around something. Are we ants? Have you ever seen ants circulating? They do that. It's like a party party. So why we need to circulate anyway? However, here, as you circulate, you know, I can take it as a symbolic, but this is not. This is, a, 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 this is physical. Circulate here around the stone. Allah, he sent down. And then... Allah sent down, it says here, فَتَوَجَّهَ آدَمَ مِنْ أَرْضِ الْهِنْدِ إِلَى إِلَيْهِ مَاشِيًا Allah, he sent him, sent Adam to the land of India, and we showed you that before. And he did that walking, read carefully with me, مَاشِيًا And when he arrived to Mecca, وَتَلَقَّتْهُ الْمَلَائِكَ فَقَالُوا بَرَّ حَجُّكَ يَا آدَم So when he arrived to Mecca, the, the angels, they said to him, hey, uh, uh, bless your hajj. Hmm? Hajj is the pilgrimage you go around the Kaaba, and and he's and they said to him the angels, and we did Hajj too to this house two thousand years before your time. And here it says, and Wahaj Adam arba'ina hijja, and Adam he did forty time Hajj from the land of India to Mecca, ala rijlay walking in his feet. Imagine, I showed you just two days ago. How this is stupid. I mean, do you know how far it is to go from Mecca? Actually, 
the the in the India here talking about is Sri Lanka. Is Sri Lanka? You can watch. You can watch on YouTube. You will see the Muslim scholars explaining how Allah He sent the first time He sent Adam. He sent him to Sri Lanka. So Adam is Sri Lankan. Anyone here from Sri Lanka, brother? Be happy. You've been honored now. You are a special person. So Adam, every year he go. Not every year. I don't know how, how often. I, I, I don't know. Every year, it's impossible. But he did Hajj forty time, and I know why. Why forty time? Because forty is a holy number. If you notice in Islam, these numbers are holy. Three, seven, and why he is copying that is from the Bible, by the way. This is not everything. Muhammad, everything he have is is a is a uh, is a copy. Is a, is a theft. How many days Jesus he fast? Forty. How many times Jesus said you you forgive the sin for your brother? Seventy. How many days God He created and etc. and in the, the the last day seven. How many we have you know like what we say uh, is called the Trinity, three. If you go and search Islam, all of it is based on those numbers. Number three. Do you remember before uh, uh, just uh, last week? This Abdul, he called, he said, you are lying. The Muslim don't start their prayer with the three takbir. They say Allahu Akbar three times. You do that or you don't do that. That's what Muhammad did. Are you saying to me, Muhammad is not a Muslim? Are you saying to me, Muhammad is not a Muslim? Hold on. As long as we are talking about this, let me show it. We don't say we don't say things without proofs. We don't say things like this. We don't make things up. Let me find it here. Read with me. The Messenger of Allah said to me, uh, etc. Blah 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 blah. No, no, we, we, we recite Allahu Akbar thirty-three times. How many times? When we, this is about what Muhammad do, but this is not about the prayer yet. We say th uh, Allahu Akbar thirty-three times. What thirty-three? Thirty-three is the age of Jesus. Otherwise, I challenge the Muslim to tell me where the thirty-three is coming from. I mean, what is unique about the thirty-three in Islam? Is that the age of Muhammad who became prophet? No. What is that? What is the 99 in Islam? It is the multiply of the name of Jesus. You see, the Muslims, they carry a rosary in their hand. This is something they copy from the Christians. Some of you may, might think this is a Catholic stuff. This is, this is you're ignorant. This has nothing to do with the Catholic. The early Christians, they made the rosaries simply to remember how many times they, uh, they said the prayer. How many uh, uh, times they are reading the Bible to, to help them to count? So the rosary have 33 rocks. Each time you pass a prayer, you push one stone. All right? This is have nothing to do with the Catholic, as some naive of you will say. Uh, so Muhammad here, he is copying from the Christians, the 33, which is multiply of number three, which is 99. If you go and see the rosary, you will see at the end of it, there's a three stones. The Muslims, they have three stones at the end. This is from where? This is the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Muhammad replaced it by, in the name of Allah, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. <laughs> Now, if we continue, we will find the following. Oh, 
all of those actually mentioned the number three. Read with me here carefully. Uh, whenever Allah opposed to return to, to from Ghazwa, he do what? He say takbir three times. But this is still not, we are just, just showing you the three, the three number, how it's much influence in Islam. When he when he returned from the attack, Ghazwa is attacking the neighbors, stealing their money, raping their women. He said takbir three times. Why? Nobody knows why. No Muslim can explain to us. Let us continue. What about the prayer? This is all over, you know, all, all the story that it could be three times, three times, three times. I can show you tons of them, but we want to go and see the prayer. Where is the hadith? Uh, the problem with this website, you can search for like uh, I tried many times, like it doesn't give you give you the exact thing you are looking for. All of this is 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 the same, but I, I want the one where he started with the prayer with the three time. Uh, this is endless here. Look, hold on. I have a better solution. <clears throat> This here. All right, I think we found it. That's better. I saw the measure of Allah. Remember, everything the Muslims did do is based on what Allah Prophet said, supposedly. I saw the message of Allah when he started the prayer. When, when he do that, when he started the prayer, not at the end, not when he start, he say, Allahu Akbaru Kabira. Kabira is just repeating the for the last word. Like he is the big Akbar, not as some uh, ignorant they think that the word Akbar meaning great. The word the great in Arabic is Azim, and Allah have ninety nine names. One of them is Azim already. So why you want to call him Azim twice? You know what I mean? It's the same as the ignorant who say that the word Allah is a word mean God. Well, in the Shahada, why the Muslim then don't say there's no Allah but Allah? They didn't say that, right? If the word Allah is just a word meaning God, then the Shahada should say, there is no Allah but Allah. As you see here, Muhammad, he said, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, and he do that three times. <clears throat> 
This is in the beginning of the prayer, but why? No Muslims can answer us, and nobody knows why. Why number three is all over Islam? Everything is based on number three. You do sujood, you do uh, sujood, which means bowing down, and then you say Allahu Akbar three times. I mean, what, why? Can you tell me why? And look how many three times repeat in the same story. So he said Allahu Akbar three times, and then he said Allah, Alhamdulillah, uh, Kathira, three times. Okay, well, thank you, Allah, three, uh, uh, three times. <laughs> why three times? Anyone knows? Okay, and then he says, Subhanallah, Bukratan wa Asila, glory to Allah, morning and evening. How many times? Three times. I move. What's happening here? Is if Muhammad he said this word or sentence once, what would happen? Is it short? Is it not enough to prove that he mean it? Why three times? That is the number of perfection. As simple as that. Nothing is perfect in Islam unless it is a three time. What make the marriage, uh, uh, the divorce uh, perfect? Is it the, the number three time. You divorce your wife three times, it's final. That's it. She cannot get back to you. You divorce her first time. You divorce her second time. You divorce her third time. And after that, that's it. She cannot get back to you unless she go and sleep with someone else. And this is in the Quran. So number three, three. Uh, how many days Allah he told uh, 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 you know Mary uh, if you go in the Quran if I type the word three all right <clears throat> the one who cannot afford to do etc in the Hajj what he, he have to do he have to fast three days okay why fast in three days what about fasting four, seven, ten? Why three days? What is special about three days? Chapter two, verse one, one ninety-six. When when a woman she uh, uh, get divorce, what she have to do? She have to wait for three periods. Any Muslim can tell me why? Who is the Muslim in the text can tell us why? Why the woman if she got divorced? She have to wait for three period. Uh, by the way, here it says a three monthly period. This is false. It's a three period of her blood. This is not about month. The period here mean the period. Women period. Why she have to wait three period? If a woman have a first period, the Muslim they will say to you because Allah He wanna be, He want us to be sure that the woman is not a bread net. That's funny. That's very funny. A woman, she have her period already. She isn't a Brit net. You do not need to wait once, twice, three times. What three times? What about to be sure we wait for 10 period? To be more sure, you know what I mean? What about we wait nine months? <laughs> Does it make sense? Why three times? A woman, she is divorced. She cannot go and get married again until... She have a three period of blood. Who is saying that? Allah. Allah cannot be mistaken. Now we continue. <clears throat> a divorce is only principle twice. After that, the party should either hold together, etc., etc. What, 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 what does that mean? What? Hold on, hold on. Translation. الطلاق مرتان. After that, the woman she is gone. Which means if, if the third time it's it's gone. You see the same chapter. Let us continue. <clears throat> In the chapter of Ali Umran, the chapter of Ali Umran. Okay. Allah speaking to a person, and this person, he said to Allah, Zakariah. Uh, uh, Umran, uh, uh, you know, the, all the stories about, you know, here about, about the father of uh, uh, John the Baptist, supposedly. So Zechariah, he said, uh, you know, you know, he got the news, the angels, they said to him, you will receive 
uh, you will receive a son hmm. what I will receive a son what are you talking about an old man and my wife is an old woman too okay this old man who receive a sign from his God and messenger from his God that you will have a son there did Zechariah pray to his Lord saying oh my Lord grant me into me grant into me the progeny that is a pure so Zechariah he prayed supposedly to Allah okay while he is standing in the prayer in his chamber the angels called him Allah doth give you the, the glad tiding of Yahya. Yahya is John the Baptist. I told you everything in Islam is a theft, but they changed the names. John, Johanna became, Johanna became Yahya. Witnessing the truth of the word of Allah. And read here, by the way, the, the, this verse is very important uh, because this is, this is something stolen from the Bible. What John the Baptist would do? What John the Baptist would do? His name is Yahya here. He will witness to the word of Allah. Who is the word of Allah? Anyone knows? Anyone knows? Who knows what is that? He will witness to the word of Allah. Is that the Quran? What is that? Who knows? Who can help me? Jesus, thank you very much. This is exactly what the Bible speak of. You see, you see, you see this religion. You see this cult. This is like you know. There's a guy in in, in YouTube. He said, uh, uh, "Islam is so much the same." He's a Muslim, and he is like he, he have a propaganda. He keep posting against Christianity. He said, "We Muslims are very close to Jehovah's Witnesses." <laughs> he is right. Jehovah's Witnesses believe in gods. Not God, gods. They believe, you know, if you go and read the, the Bible according to Jehovah's Witnesses, false translation, false Bible, they say, in the beginning it was the word, and the word was it with a God, a God. There's many gods. And this is what you Muslims are, same as the cult of Jehovah's Witnesses. Here, if we go and try to understand this verse, because a Muslim, he might say to us now, "Oh, you are fabricating now." Where it says here, he's witnessing to witnessing to Jesus. Where he where it says that? Where where? Huh? Why you are a liar? It says here he's witnessing to the word of Allah. Okay, well we can go right now and see uh, the interpretation, chapter three, verse number thirty-nine. Let us see what the Muslims they say about that. Read with me, guys. Who is the one is giving the interpretation for the Quran? This is not a Christian prince. This is not Christian prince. I hope that some of you will will cut this video, part of this video, and make a video about it. The Quran witnessed something very, very, very dangerous here. Muhammad, he just got himself busted. Muhammad now is just exposed. Look. The angels, namely Jibreel. I hope the text is coming clear for you. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. This is not a Christian prince website. This is not a Hindu website. This is not Buddha website. This is a government website owned by the King of Jordan. The one who claimed that he is from the family of Muhammad and that explained why he is very much corrupt, the same as his family. Now read with me carefully. And here we go. Phil, he posts for you the... Uh, uh, the page it says here and the angels namely Gabriel called him standing in his sanctuary in the temple at the worship that that Anna means be an try to try you know try to make it English uh, a version reading has in uh, implying direct speech statement God gives you good, uh, good tidings. read here they are saying it in Arabic again. 
of John who shall confirm the word of being from God namely Jesus that he is God spirit guys do you see it do you see it I mean how more clear we want that Jesus is God John Allah created him for a reason what is the reason it is one reason to witness for Jesus what he will witness about Jesus that Jesus is the Word of God and he is God's spirit honestly when I read this I feel like my my body is like you know as, as of like electric shock shock I'm, I'm telling you guys when I read this this is how I feel I feel like as I've, I've been touched by a wire and the electricity is going through my body it's amazing how you spend your day and your night saying to us Jesus is just a prophet and then you say to us that Jesus Jesus is so important to the point God created a prophet John the Baptist is one of the greatest prophets It's not a joke and what is the job of John the Baptist nothing except to witness to Jesus that he is the Word of God and he is the Spirit of God uh, the guy there he's saying to us this is not what the Quran is saying it's tafsir you see guys that the, the deception of the Muslims tafsir is made for what to explain the Quran my friend if the Quran doesn't say that, and by the way, no, the Quran it says that. The Quran it says that. It says that John he will witness for the word of God. And who is the word of God? The Quran says the word of God is Jesus. Hello. Who is the word of God in the Quran? Do you want to show you from the Quran? Isn't it the Quran says that he is the word of Allah and he is the spirit of Allah? And are you saying to me that you Muslims are stupid, you do not understand the Quran, so this is your biggest scholar, he is an idiot, he do not know what he's talking about? Are you saying that? Are you saying you Muslims, you grow beard and you spend your life studying the books of those guys and then those guys are an idiot suddenly? But because it's very clear that this is a proven Islam to be a cult trying to copy Christianity. It's like Jehovah's Witnesses. This is the Jehovah's Witnesses book created by the Jehovah's Witnesses since Muhammad. And I challenge anyone to tell me why Jesus needed such an amazing preparation to the point that now we have John the Baptist and Jesus in the same time prophets of God you see the Muslim they say both of them they are prophets, correct okay why we need to have two prophets in the same time what the point any Muslim can explain to me I mean why, why Allah did not send two prophets in the same time in Mecca uh, his cousin can't Allah make his, his cousin a prophet before him to prepare for Muhammad and why the Muslims when when the Quran speak about the Word of God to be witness what made them take the conclusion to the point that this is must be Jesus thank you very much so how you interrupt those uh, how how you how you give me interpretation? Look what this guy said, guys. Let me let me copy, let me copy and put it in the screen. This is very important. This is very important. Thank you for making this question. Look what this uh, uh, Muslims he said. So how you do interrupt the verses? which directly deny the deity of Jesus the Quran said if this book is not from God you will find in it a lot of contradiction 
and this is one of thousands of contradictions in the Quran. How you give me interpretation then to explain how Allah in verse in the Quran says Allah created the sky and the stars first and then the mountains and the earth and in the other verse he says he created the earth and the mountains first and then at the end he created the stars. That's your problem. Because when you say that only Jesus is the word of God you cannot then say that this is mean about Jesus by created by the word of God because this is not a true. Not even Adam was created by the word of God. How Allah created Adam? Did Allah say to Adam, be and he was? No. He made mud. He fashioned the mud. Then he blew from his breath into the mud. And then Adam is not even finished. This is why you see in the Quran, if you read the, the story, that when Allah was creating Adam, Allah breathed into him. And Adam, he tried to stood up, but he could not. So Adam, he said to Allah, finish me before the sunset. Where is the word? Be and he was. Nothing, according to Islam, Allah created by saying be. وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولَ What does that mean? How you want to give me interpretation for this verse? And remember, this is your interpretation, not mine. Chapter 17, verse number 11. I'm not going to give you interpretation of my own. I will go to the Quran, to the, to the scholars, the one you like. All right? 17, 11. Okay. <clears throat> Read with me carefully. <laughs> you know, Islamic, Islamic. When the Muslim try to explain the Quran, they show you how stupid this cult is. Remember, those books is made to defend Islam, and this is really what they've been taught from their prophet through generations and supposedly those are preserving the knowledge so i want to say thank you for the muslim scholars for preserving the knowledge and man is ever hasty what does that mean salman al-farisi who is the one is talking salman al-farisi the one who taught muhammad a lot of things about his religion ibn abbas mentioned the story of adam who is ibn abbas the cousin of muhammad thank you very much and he is the only one Muhammad he prayed to Allah to make him Hebrew Ummah, which means the ink of the religion, which means the scholar. When he wanted, when uh, when Adam he wanted to get up before his soul reached his feet, what? Yeah, because now Allah he fashioned Adam, and Allah he uh, uh, after he made him from clay and he fashioned him. Now he breathed into him. So now Adam his eyes opened, boing. And now he look up and look down and he look at his feet. Do you remember the video? It's called Ahmad, the dead terrorist. Do you remember it? Ahmad, the dead terrorist. I kill you. This is exactly what happened. So Allah is creating Ahmad, the, the dead terrorist. Ahmad looked down. He found his feet. He, he found his feet. He have a feet. So now Ahmad, the dead terrorist, decided to stand up. So uh, he, he wanted to get up before his soul reached to his feet. Have you ever heard of a soul reaching to the feet? I mean, what does that mean? The, the soul is reaching to the feet? Are you sure? I mean, say the blood, say the soul. I, I, have, I have soul on my feet now. Okay, let us go. When his soul was breathed into him, ah, this is after Allah he breathed. Where Allah he says, Allah in the Quran said that this, the similarity between Jesus and Adam, Allah he said to him, be and he was. What? The story in the Quran is different. <clears throat> 
and in the hadith. So, look at this here. Uh, man, this website is something. In the method of Isa, in the law, Kamathri Adam, okay, Khalakoh min Turab, Thumma Kala Lahu Kon Fayakun. He created him. The, the similarity between Adam and, uh, and the Isa is the same, they are similar. He created him from mud. And he said to him, "Be," and he was. But this is not what the what the Quran says about the creation of Adam. This is stupid. This is a contradiction. Where in the Quran, Allah He said to Adam, "Be," and he was. Any Muslim can tell me. I will give you ten thousand years from now. I'm start counting. Tuck, 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 to show me the verse in the Quran describing the creation of Adam. Where it says that Allah He said to Adam and He was. Huh? That's a lie. That's an absolute lie. The Quran confirmed that Allah. He created Adam from mud. He made dust. He mixed the dust with the water. And not only that, the stupid book of the Quran saying that Allah He He created Adam in the last moment, which means like he you know he was late. Well, have you ever believed in this? What does that mean? How Allah He created Adam? Read carefully with me. Translation, please. Man is created of a haste or haste. <laughs> what? What, what was happening? Allah is late. You want to go somewhere? Yeah. Allah, he created Adam in the last day of the week, Friday afternoon. Friday afternoon. And not only that, Adam, when he, he saw Allah creating him, he said to Allah, finish me before the sunset. Finish me before the sun set. So where is the word Allah created him? By saying be. Where, where is the word be? Any Muslim? In the Quran, if we go to different verse, We will see the following. Lord have mercy. <clears throat> uh -huh. Here we go. How Allah He made him. But He fashioned him in due preparation and then He breathed into him something of His Spirit. And then, you know, let me show you a different translation to make it more clear. 
But we can read the interpretation too. What the Muslims will do now, they will refuse the interpretation. Okay. So he made him from dust, from mud. Do you see it? He makes a fluid with, with dust. And then, then he fashioned him. And then he breathed into him of his spirit. Where is the word? Where is where Allah? He said, "Be and he was." That is a stupid contradiction. If you go in the hadith, says the following. I hope the Muslims will not say that Muhammad is lying here. He's a liar. He's working for a Christian prince. It says. Allah created the dust, the mud in Saturday, created the mountains in Sunday, created the trees in Monday, blah, 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 blah. And then he arrived here, he says, and he created Adam after noon on Friday. The, la the last creation at the last hour of the hour of a Friday between afternoon and night. <laughs> and this is what the Quran says Allah created him in a rush because the, the, the night is coming this is why we see in the hadith of Muhammad said that Adam he said to Allah finish me before the sun set because remember at that time Allah he cannot go to Home Depot or to Walmart and buy some flashlight and use it that's it the sun, sun, sun set he cannot work no more so here it says he breathed into him and his breath entered into his body from his head downwards. When it reached his brain, he sneezed, hit you, hit you. And Allah, he's and Adam, he said, Alhamdulillah. Like, what the heck? This guy, he does not know even who's Allah yet. He sneezed, he said, I speak in Arabic too. Adam, he is not finished yet. Before. His spirit reached his foot, as you see here. Now, uh, before his soul reached his feet, do you see it? I'm not the one saying that. He sneezes. It's you. And right away, when he sneezes, what happened? He said, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Adam speak Arabic. Everybody is born speaking Arabic. You see, Arabic is the origin of everything in the world. Allah speak Arabic, Adam speak Arabic. I mean, how in the world we became now speaking those languages? So obviously, Adam was an Arab like me. I'm so proud now. Adam is an Arab. Adam is, he's an Arab from India. Remember, Adam, he was sent down to India. So I am an Arab Indian. And that explains who is Zachary Naik. Brother, brother, sister. Did the guy's name be Christian Prince? And the Christian Prince, he always said things it's not true. First of all, Christian Prince, he said, let us go and read the interpretation. I telling him to throw out the interpretation in coming from the Islamic website. Or the Muslim website, it doesn't say what he said. As an example, when he read for you from the book of Ibn Kathir, if you go to the book of Ibn Kathir, you will find that Ibn Kathir is not even born in the time of Dita. So how did that, that, that going to happen? What the heck? What's happening here? That's too much. I feel like I'm going to explode now and I need to wash my screen from the rain. And by the way, the Muslims, they make fun of my English and my accent. And nobody is like seeing something wrong with Zakir Naik. Anyway, let it go. I'm not making fun of his accent, by the way, but it's funny how he answer and how he say things. And the Muslim like, wow, wow, astonishing, astonishing brother. What do you mean I don't show you? Everything I show in here, this is your website. This is your Muslim website, and this is your false translation too, trying to defend Islam, make it look better. If you go in Arabic, it's more horrible. Read carefully with me. So now his soul reached his feet when his soul was breathed into him. It entered his body from his head downward. I'm so glad that Allah did not breathe in his willy. I mean, look how Islam is too much in duty details. Allah breathed into him. He want to tell you, he breathed into his mouth. Not like Mary, he breathed into her vagina. 
You know what I mean? So he want to tell you where the breeze is coming from. From which direction, brother? So he breathed into him from his head downward. What do you mean from his head downward? Somebody told you that Adam, Adam mouse was in the top of his head. Well, what does that mean? Okay, what about the second part of the head? Okay, the mouth is in the in the down part of the head, from the head downward, so the the, the spirit does not go up to his brain. Let it go. So when it is reached. His brain, he sneezed at you and he said, Alhamdulillah. And then Allah said to him, May your Lord have mercy on you. Like, what the heck? What is that? What's happening here? Adam, he sneezed. Adam is at you and Allah, and he says, Alhamdulillah. And Allah, he says, May your Lord have mercy on you. So, who is Allah? How in the world Allah he say may Allah have mercy on you who are you then Any uh, any Muslim would like to sneeze If Allah is Allah how Allah he say to Adam may your lord have mercy on you who is the one who's talking Allah Allah saying may your lord have mercy on you And why may he's not sure I mean, if I am God, why I want to say, may God have mercy on you, may? You see, this is, this is a statement you say, if you are not God, you are praying to God. Correct, guys? Do we agree? If you commit sin, or if you do do something wrong, me as a human being like you, I have no power to forgive your sin. So what I say, may your Lord forgive your sin. May your Lord bless you. You see, nobody bless anyone except God. When your mother or your father bless you, he say bless you, or or a, or a, a Christian in a church, he is not really blessing you. He's asking God for the blessing. A human being cannot bless anyone. When I say bless you, I, I, I'm just cutting it short and saying, may God bless you for the blessing coming from God. So what do you mean, may your Lord bless you? Obviously, this is a fabrication of somebody. He forget always to switch. If you go right now in the Quran, The Quran author, because he's an official idiot, he keeps saying things that doesn't make sense. As an example, all those verses is about maybe. Chapter 2, verse number 216. Chapter 4, verse number 19. Hmm? Chapter 4, verse number 84. Chapter, uh, let's, let's take this one as an example. Chapter 4, verse number 99. It's, it's the smallest, short, so it's easier to read. For those, there is hope that Allah will forgive. Oh, hold on, hold on. It doesn't say that, you liar. It doesn't say that. It says, for those, maybe Allah will forgive your sin. Asa, may Allah change the translator. Do you see it, guys? Do you see? The, you see how the first translation work on Islam? Why in the other translator he did not say it may be? This God in the Quran, all over the Quran, he's saying, maybe, maybe, well, why you don't say, if you do that, I will forgive you. What do you mean, maybe? Maybe is a statement of someone is not sure and he have no power over it. Here in chapter 5, verse number 52. Allah saying, maybe Allah will bring you victory. May Allah bring you victory. So who is Allah then? Obviously, it's a guy making a prayer. But it may be that Allah will bring a victory. Like what? Or a punishment from himself. Maybe. He's not sure.
Do you love me? Maybe, maybe. Do you hate me? Maybe, maybe. Do you love me? Do you hate me? Do you love me? Do you do? Maybe. Do you love me? Maybe, maybe. Do you forgive me? Maybe, maybe. May I go to heaven? Maybe, maybe. May, maybe, may, maybe. May, maybe. Oh, Allah, the God of maybe. If you like to find Allah, go to maybe, 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 www.maybe.com and replace the letter O with the letter U when you write come, please. For this is a very much sexual religion. Isn't it Muhammad who said that Allah, how come Muhammad is sure that in the heaven you will have 70 years orgasm, but here it's maybe. Allah is talking, he say maybe Muhammad, he talk, he speak about 70 years orgasm. If we search in the Quran, we will find it is. Look, look at this one. Chapter 7, verse number 129. May Allah, maybe Allah, maybe Allah will destroy your enemy. He's not sure. It may be that your Lord will destroy your enemy. Obviously, this is a guy is wishing a wish from God. Is a guy he is saying, making a statement. This is not be God talking. It may be your Lord. This is why when we ask in the other day, the Muslims, where is the prophecy of Muhammad? Because Islam is based on maybe. Muhammad did not know. He have no idea. Everything is about maybe. He can call. My Skype is open. Who's holding him? All right? Let us see. You know, my Skype, I have tons of messages, and I need two days to, to just read the messages there. All right. Let us continue with the God of maybe. Maybe, Muslims, you will listen to me. Maybe. I'm not sure if you would do that. Okay. <clears throat> Read and look at this. And that it may be their doom shall have drawn night. Maybe. Well, it's maybe. It's maybe. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe, maybe, me, me. I'm thinking to make a CD or DVD and sell it in Amazon. It's called Maybe Allah. Huh? Chapter number nine, verse number 18. Allah saying, maybe you will become a believer. What? Huh? Maybe? It may be that Allah, that it may be that they are of the follower. It may be you do not know. By the way, I want to know why a lot of people buying sex and Allah and nobody making a review. I was guessing maybe. They are shy. Maybe Allah don't want them to do it. Maybe I mean what? Uh, I'm out of all the maybes. A lot of people buying the book and loving the book, but yet few of you made a review. I mean, what's wrong? And don't forget, if you have my books in the German language, the first book, the second book, don't forget to make a maybe review.
all right and don't forget in your review to speak about that maybe this book is so beautiful don't say that people will laugh at you either you say it's ugly or you say it is <laughs> maybe maybe huh hmm all right yeah if you if you did read any of my books don't forget please to make a review and by the way when you post in Amazon before you post you can change the name the the, the, the review name they, they will not show your real name you can call yourself maybe you can call yourself a number whatever you want to call yourself so you can make a review and your name will not appear all right because I think some people they maybe they don't want to post because they think their name will appear there uh, as you see like you see uh, many people they call themselves uh, I think it's thematic like Amazon customer what do you make okay let us see let's go about more maybe should we shall we see more maybes okay Allah what is that I mean this is too much poopoo -poo. maybe Allah will forgive them I mean aren't you God what do you mean maybe huh maybe Allah will turn to them maybe Surely Allah is all forgiven, all merciful. So why you are saying maybe? And who why you are saying Allah will forgive them if you are Allah? Let us go back to the story of the creation of Adam. Because I'm sure many of you cannot wait to finish this movie. Tom Cruise is here in this movie. Just you know, this is not true. Okay, I said maybe. I, I meant I meant maybe he will be in the movie. Maybe I'm not. I'm not confirming that. So when he it's uh, when his soul reached his his brain, he sneezed. That's true. He said Alhamdulillahi, praise be to Allah. And Allah said, May your Lord have mercy on you, O oh, Adam. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy blue. Oh, mommy blue. Oh, Adam. Oh, Adam, Allah have mercy on you, maybe, Adam. Oh, Adam, Adam. <laughs> then, when it reached to his eyes, he opened them. Boing, and when it reached his body and limbs, he start, is, is started to stare at them in wonder. Ah, I told you this is this is Ahmad the Detarist. If you remember Ahmad the Detarist, when he was looking at his feet, who could not be revealed, so he was like in wonder, like what the heck is that? Is that my feet? Honestly, is that my feet? Maybe my feet, maybe it's your feet. So now Adam. His soul is going traveling through the destination, like his nose, his eyes, as you see, eyes. Do you see? When it reached his eyes, unbelievable. When it reached his eyes, and then when it reached his body. Hello? <clears throat> Hello? Go ahead, Mr. Muhammad. What do you want to say? Hello? Are you going to talk or no? Okay. Maybe. Maybe the internet, when it reached to his head, he decided to leave. Hmm. When it reached to his eyes, he opened them and when it reached to his body and limbs he started to stare at them in wonder he wanted to get up before it reached his feet but he could not poor Adam poor Adam I mean what the heck is that put yourself in his feet I mean put yourself in his shoes <laughs> literally <laughs> I'm so glad I am not Adam at that day. And look what happened here. Here is the disaster. I mean, this is the most amazing statement ever. 
Adam he said in his lifetime when Adam he looked at his feet and he could not stand up he said to Allah make it happen make it happen before the night comes you idiot make it happen man finish it man why you are so slow man have you ever heard of a, such amazing story I mean and you are telling me Muhammad is not a true prophet of God what's wrong with you seriously seriously I ask you to repent right now and pray to Allah Adam he dare to say to his God make it happen finish me before the sunset you will buy my book to let me be rich ah. is that the same reason you uh, pay Muhammad before you meet him in a private consultation to make him rich are you trying to imply that I am making my books to make money will you I is that illegal is that like dishonest is that a I mean I'm a thief my books is my work my friend I write books what's the problem you see the Muslim when he say he want to make you look bad I will buy your book to make you look rich I mean that's deep but hold on hold on don't forget to order it and make it happen before the night comes because the price will increase in Amazon and supposedly now the Muslim is putting the Christian Prince down. You see, guys, Christian Prince is making his books to make money. And I was wondering why. Unbelievable genius. I mean, truly, truly, you are genius. Did you come with this alone or you called a friend? Be honest with me. Is that like your idea alone? I mean, if this is your idea, you have to make a copyright over it, the same as my books. <laughs> Abdul, I love you, Abdul. I love you, all of you. Make it happen before the night come and order my book, my friend. Actually, there's a Muslim. He wanted, supposedly, to get revenge of me. So he said, Christian Prince, I'm going to buy all your books and burn them on air. I will make a video. I said, like, please. And I was waiting since then. I mean, you know, when the Muslims will buy all my books and burn them. I mean, this is super smart. Please. Who is the Muslims want to make an order right now for like a 100,000 copies of my books and make a video and burn them live? Please, 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 please. I beg you, I beg you, I beg you. Maybe Allah will reward you. Mm, nice joker absolutely i'm sure you are laughing at your god and your religion you see uh, 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 once a muslim he called and he called to defend islam he said uh, you know he said may allah forgive me you are making me uh, laugh at my religion this is the truth they laugh they cannot they, you know when they hear what we say it is not me who is being maybe okay let's say some people they are gifted to present some ideas in certain way but the joke is your God. I cannot make him funny if he's not. I cannot make him stupid if he's not. I cannot make him look dumb if he is not. He is an idiot. What is this? Is that a story? Adam is saying to Allah, finish me before the sunset. How Adam he knew there is a sunset? I mean, the guy he just created the Friday afternoon. How he knew that after two hours from now we will have the sunset? You tell, explain to me. Here we go. I am not a smart. You are the smart person. I I want an explanation. Adam, he did not live in the earth yet, not even a second. He is just being in the process of a creation. He is not a created yet. How this guy? He speak Arabic. He say Alhamdulillah. The guy he is just like what the heck? He say Alhamdulillah. And not only that, 
just to show you the madness of this cult. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe if you did not subscribe yet. If you are subscribed, don't forget to unsubscribe. For Allah, maybe we will bless you more if you do that. Uh, if you go, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Mm. You see the idea fly, unbelievable, unbelievable. What I was going to show you, I was going to show you something. What is that? I think I need to to eat ajwa. Mm. Okay. Uh, it's gone. The idea is gone. You will leave it. Yeah, we were talking here about uh, about uh, the you know make it happen. In different place in the Quran, when Allah He was creating Adam, the story get more complicated. Get more complicated. If we go here, we will find the following. فتلقى آدم من ربه كلمات فتاب عليه. Okay, what does that mean? Chapter two, verse number thirty-seven. I'm not going to waste my time and explain. Let us see what the Muslim says about it. Then Adam he received words from his Lord, from his Lord, from Allah, of inspiration. It doesn't say really anything of that. And he, his Lord, turned toward him. And he forgive him. I mean, the translation of Yusuf Ali. I think this Yusuf Ali in his time there's no Google, but obviously he's using the dictionary to find the word, the meaning of words, and this is why it's coming very funny and very stupid. I don't think this guy even he knew Arabic. And then Adam he received some words from his Lord, so he turned to him mercifully. Surely he is foot returning, mercy, merciful. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, How, what does that mean? Adam. When he commits sin in heaven, according to Islam, he ate from the apple. Hmm? He ate from the apple. Then Adam, he asked Allah for forgiveness. How this happened? What happened? And how Allah, he forgive him? What is the reason that Allah, he forgive Adam? Let us go and see. This is chapter thirty, uh, chapter uh, two, uh, two, verse number thirty-seven. Uh. All right. <clears throat> And Adam he repent to and, and supplicates to Allah. So Adam starts saying, Maybe Allah forgive me, maybe Allah forgive me, maybe Allah forgive me. And then our Lord said, We have wronged ourselves. So if you forgive us, okay. Now the, the Adam he received words from his Lord and he forgave him. But how the story of forgiveness here happened? What exactly? happened anyone knows why Allah he forgave Adam anyone remember anyone knows okay hold on The reason be, be, be behind forgiving Adam uh, is Muhammad. Yes, Muhammad. Give me a second to show you the story. All right. 
uh, this website is weird in the design so I will try to make it fit I mean I don't know what kind of website this website is how we can make the text fit let me search for a different website this is sunnah.org this is Sunni Muslim um, well anyway we can scroll in there like you know just to make it simple between the page like this you know what we can do okay the Prophet of Allah said the Prophet of Allah said when Adam made mistake which means sin he asked Allah I ask you for the sake of Muhammad to forgive me what the heck Adam he asked Allah for the sake of Muhammad to forgive me are you sure Guys, is the text clear? Let, let me do this whole one. Maybe you can find a different website which have a better uh, Zoom script. I can't even search in Google. Huh? I'm just trying to find a better website so we can read it. Hold on. Okay, here we find we found a better uh, better way. I hope the text is coming clear. I'm not sure really. So Adam, he was saying when he commits sin, it's reported by Umar al Khattab, the companion of Muhammad, that the Prophet of Allah, Allah pray on him and salute him. You see, when the Muslim translate this to you, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. As peace upon him, this is a lie. Salah mean pray. Allahu alayhi, Allah pray on him. Wasallam, and he salute him. Said, Allah said, when Adam he made a mistake, which means a sin, he asked, Oh Allah, I ask for your for this for uh, I ask you for the sake of Muhammad to forgive me. Allah said. What? Oh, Adam, how do you recognize Muhammad when I have not created Muhammad yet? Like, what the heck? Even Allah was like, what the heck? How, how, how this can happen? How this Adam, he knew? Put yourself in the shoe of Allah. And you just created Adam, and Adam, after a few days, he commits sin. And now Adam is asking Allah for forgiveness. Allah, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Allah is not forgiving him. So Adam, he came with an idea. He said to him, Allah, forgive me for the sake of Muhammad. What the heck is that? But Muhammad is not created. How Adam knew about Muhammad? How? 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 Any Muslim can explain to us. Yes, the story explain. Hello? It says there. And Allah Himself is wondering. So don't ask me, Muslims, why I'm wondering. As you see, Allah Himself, He said to Muhammad, How you know, man? And you Muslims, the funny, they say to us, Allah is all knowing. Allah is all knowing. And He's asking Adam, How you know that? And Abdul, 
How Allah is all knowing and is asking Adam, how you know that? And as you see that Allah is being astonished here. Like, what? How you know that? And now Adam is going to come with the in explanation for what he, for his knowledge. How you know that? This is not normal. My brother, this is not normal. Even Zachariah, he cannot find out. Forgive me, Allah, forgive me. How you know? Look, Adam, he said to him, Oh Allah, look at the answer, guys. The answer is make you dizzy. It will make you dizzy. It's like a drugs. It's like cocaine, heroin, morphine. Adam said, Oh Allah, when you created me and it blew into me, I mean, I hope he's not blowing too much. The spirit, I lifted my head and I saw me. I turn my head up and down. I turn, I turn, I turn, I turn, I turn it around, and all what I can see, just the name of Muhammad around me. I turn my head. Like what the heck? He turned his head up, and I saw, I saw on the throne, written on the throne, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. The name of Muhammad there, the Shahada. Allah, Allah, he wrote in his throne the name of Muhammad all over. Allah keeps saying there's no God but Allah and Muhammad is a prophet. There's no God but Allah and Muhammad is a prophet. No God but Allah and Muhammad is a prophet. So Adam, he left his head up and he saw that in the, in the, in the chair. Now Allah, he wrote that Adam is a smart ass. He said to himself, hmm, this guy, his name is Allah. So who is Muhammad? Who is Muhammad? Let me call a friend. A brother Zakir Naik. Uh, uh, how Adam he was able to know the name of uh, uh, Muhammad in the chair. I mean, how he knew that this is a person. Maybe it's something. You know, what do you think, brother Tatar? Did I accuse him? Admit against the prophet that this is a story. It's a fabrication. First of all, it's proven by science. There's a scientist, his name is Yama Aidula Yama from Japan. It's very well known. And his cousin, Yama Suduki, Suduki Yama Ailai, and his cousin, the very famous scientist, his name is Toyota. The brother Toyota, he said, that it's proven by science, and they found inside the engine of Toyota that there is a statement that says there's no God but Allah and there's no prophet but Muhammad. So it's not only written in the tale of Allah, it's written everywhere. Thank you very much. What the heck? I mean, this is astonishing. Allah, he wrote the name of Muhammad before he created the whole world and the throne, my friend. I mean, Allah, he has nothing in his head. Allah and Muhammad. Muhammad and Allah. Who is the one is associating the name of God with the name of a man? Muslims. Allah, your God, he put his name, the name of Muhammad in his chair. Why? I mean, why, why, why? And why you are putting them in one sentence next to each other? There's no God but Allah. And there's no prophet but Muhammad. So what about the rest? Of Allah, he sent 124,000 prophets. Why all the Muhammad name there? So Adam, he left his head up and he found the name of Adam, brother, there. Uh, not the name of Muhammad. So he said to himself, look, look. So I got to know that you would only Join your name with him who is the most beloved to you. Do you see it, guys? The Muslim saying, Allah joined his name to him. Who? Muhammad. Allah joined his name to Muhammad. I mean, who is your God? And you are telling me you worship God. You worship Muhammad. Even Allah, he worship Muhammad. Allah said, O oh Adam. Now you see, here Adam, he hit Allah in the head. This is a shot head. Like, bing. Allah, he got like, oof, I cannot resist this. You have spoken the truth. Wow, this is so deep. I mean, this is so, so deep. Allah said to Adam, you have spoken the truth? I'm so afraid he was going to say to him, you are a liar. But thanks to Allah, he said the truth.
And you Muslims, you say to us, we worship a man. Your God, Allah, he worship a man. Why this madness? Why Allah writing the name of Muhammad? Muhammad, who's he? Who's, who's Muhammad? What's wrong with you Muslims? And Allah forgive the sin of Adam for the sake of Muhammad. Why? And then he said, Allah continues saying now, explaining to, to Adam. He said to him, So I got to know you would only join your name with him. Who is the most beloved to you? Allah said, Oh, Adam. Oh, mommy, you have spoken the truth. Indeed, Muhammad is the more, more beloved to me than anything. Than anything. You see it, guys? Anything. Allah is in love. Allah is in love with Muhammad. I mean, put yourself in the shoe of Allah. Can you resist loving Muhammad? Allah is in love with Muhammad and Muhammad is in love with the six years old baby girl. I mean, look at the chain of love in Islam. Allah is in love with Muhammad and Muhammad is in love with his own son wife. Allah is in love with Muhammad and Muhammad is in love with all the private who are part of the women in the world. He wanted to have all of them. But Allah is only in love with Muhammad only i mean forget about everything allah that's it he loved muhammad and that's it nothing else muslims am i am the one saying that is it me saying that you accuse me of lying look look how the muslim they play dead when i start reading for them do you see the text stop what happened what is the, what is the abdul muslims what is the, what is the, what happened what is the abdul i mean seriously what what, what is the abdul Huh? Any Abdul have a comment? Who is Abdul when I say something? Any comment? Anyone accuse me of something, saying something not right? Hello? Hello? It's me you're looking for. Yeah, people making shirts about Ali Abdul these days. I don't know what to do. I made a revolution in the world around the, uh, around the globe. This shirt is sold. I don't know by who. And people are buying it, obviously. Any Abdul? Hmm? Not even one? This is a Christian prince speaking to you. <laughs> I mean, this guy who made the shirt is really funny. Uh, <laughs> anyway. This is your religion. So Allah, he said, Allah, he said, you have spoken the truth. Indeed, indeed, Muhammad is, Muhammad is more, be loved to me than anything. That's amazing. So when you ask me for the sake, for his sake, I burden you. And look, look guys, the story continue. If Muhammad was not in existence i would not have created you like what the heck even adam was created for the sake of muhammad do you see it My friend, and the story continue, Allah will say that Allah, he told Muhammad, 
he sent Jibreel to him and he said to him that Allah he said to me to tell you that if not you Allah throne will not be created Allah chair will not be created the the pin of Allah the board of Allah the earth the universe the stars the sky everything the trees nothing will be created every uh, you and me we are created for the sake of Muhammad Christian Prince created for the sake of Muhammad and I was wondering asking myself why I'm created I, I was really confused for long trying to find out why I mean it's not even fair to be created but then to know why but now we find out that we are created for the sake of Muhammad I mean it's obvious isn't it isn't it Allah himself he is created for the sake of Muhammad because Allah he created everything to what to make Muhammad happy which means all his existence is for the sake of Muhammad why why Allah is exist to make Muhammad happy Correct Muslims? Why Allah is exist? Read carefully with me here. This hadith here says, let me try to zoom out. Maybe we can make it work. <clears throat> Indeed, the Prophet of Allah is the reason for the creation of the uh, of Adam alayhi salam, creation of Adam and the universe. What? 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 The universe is created because of uh, because of Muhammad. Yeah, read with me carefully. Allah revealed to the Prophet Isa. Isa, even Jesus is involved here. Look what it says. Alayhi salam, O Isa, have faith, have faith, I mean, in Muhammad, and order your ummah, your nation, to do the same if Muhammad was not to ex in existence. I would not have created Adam, nor I have been created heaven or hell. I mean, what do you want more? Jibreel, Come to the Prophet, Allah pray on him and salute him and said, I have not created anyone who is more honored to me than you, than you, you don't say here. I have created the word, the word. Huh? My name is Olga from Russia. Uh, the word, you should see it in Arabic, how funny it is. Sound like Olga from Russia reading Arabic. Allah Arabic is very broken. I have created the whole world that is therein so that they may know that the rank that you possess all the world they created to know the, the rank of Muhammad I mean if Muhammad is the only one I created that will not make him happy unless he have more people who know his rank uh, Muhammad would be proud now do you know my rank <laughs> What is your rank, sir? I'm a surgeon. <laughs> what about you? I'm a specialist in the army. Uh, what about you? I'm a captain. Um, do you know who I am? No, sir. Who are you? Look at the chair of Allah. Okay. Do you see that name? Yes, it says La 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 Muhammad al Zulala. Okay, that is me. I'm Muhammad. Oof. Oof. I mean, that is so deep. There is this report of the Prophet was not created by Allah, would not made the sky or the earth. This is Islam, my friend. This is the stupidity of Muslims when they speak of Islam as a as a as a religion of God. This is God and this is Prophet. Now, isn't it obvious this guy is a scam? Isn't it obvious? Any Muslim? 
Some say it's false. Everything in Islam is false. I say it's false too. <laughs> My friend, anything will make Muhammad look like an idiot. The Muslim, they will say automatically it's false. What about the Quran? When the Quran says that the man have a sperm coming from the backbone and the women have a sperm coming from the upper ribs, why Muslim don't say this is weak? They say, they say it's weak. Even the Quran is, is this is false. The Quran, it's false. My friend, it's the Quran. It's false. I don't care. What What do you mean it's, uh, I, I don't care. It's false. يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلْبِ وَالتَّرَائِبِ Issuing from between the lions of the man and the breast of the women. Brothers, sisters, I witness for you that we Arabian men, our sperm coming from the backbone. I have a friend who have an accident in his backbone. Huh? He cannot have kids no more. He have balls. Yes, he have balls. Everything is fine. But uh, he, he have the broken, the backbone is broken. And since then, he cannot have ball. I mean, have have, a, have a children. And I know a girl. Okay, she decided to make a jellyfish plastic surgery. You know, they want to make like a balloon in their chest, as they do these days, stupid women. So she want to make a balloon, and they told her it's better if we take the there is a bone in the top which is stopping us from making your balloon so big. So they took the upper side of her ribs, and now she cannot have a sperm no more because according to the Quran. That the women they have a sperm coming from the location of the necklace. I mean, what do you want more? And you are telling me Islam is not from God? Are you crazy? What's wrong with you? How Allah he knew this if he is not God? I hope that those guys who they are married who want to have sex today and they will not go to the bedroom and start looking for balls in their in the in the in the location of the necklace of their wives. Don't don't do that. There's nothing there. I mean, this is Quran. Hello. Don't do that. Huh? And women, don't try to look for uh, you know like uh, the bones of the man because the sperm coming from there and think like you need to make a massage to it because this is what is missing. It is not the reason. The bones have nothing to do with this. Yeah, the Quran says women have a, have a sperm. What, what, yeah, actually, this is true. Once I was walking in the beach of California in the front of the hotel. It's called "Welcome to the Hotel California." This is a true story, by the way. Um, have you to believe me? I mean, you believe in this? You don't believe my story? How come? So I was walking in the beach and I saw a woman. She have something white in her chest, in the upper side of her chest. At that time, I was naive. I have no idea. I thought maybe this is a lotion for the sun, Nivea, something. But after I did read this, I was like, what? This woman, she is a very dirty woman. She was doing masturbation in the beach. And she come and she have the, the sperm in her chest. Obviously, she have a breast testicles. True story. Any Muslim have a comment? about the knowledge of Allah and the knowledge of the Prophet and the knowledge of Islam. Hello? You know what? I am interested to see what Ibn Kathir want to say about this. Because Ibn Kathir, uh, you know, he always tried to defend Islam. Uh, Ibn Kathir is a person who is, who you know, supposed to live between the Syrian, born between the Syrian and Syrian are educated people. So let us see what this this is not hadith. This is Sahaba follower. Guys, this is not hadith. This is Sahaba follower talking. All your Quran is collected from Sahaba, you idiot. So what we will do now? You see how smart they are? This is not hadith. This is Sahaba. Do you know what hadith means? Hadith, not necessarily your prophet speaking, Abdul. Hadith is anything reported about or by Muhammad. He did or he said. This is what hadith. This is what hadith, my friend. Now, the Quran, all of it, is reported by the Sahaba, my friend. Not even a single thing written by Muhammad. So what we will do now? We will, re we will reject the Quran? Isn't it the Quran, all of it, is collected by the Sahaba? The companion of your prophet? 